Okay guys, so I just got to Goodwill. I am shopping with my mom and I'm already finding so many good things. Like, I'll give you a sneak peek. A little sneak peek. But anyway, I found these little interesting candle holders. I don't think I'm gonna get them. I don't even see a price on them. I'm gonna pass on those. They have some stamps, but I can't tell what they say. This is kind of just a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated over time. So basically this is just stuff that I picked up over time from stopping by at thrift stores like after work or whatever. Like on days when I wasn't planning on filming so I don't really have like footage from shopping but I just have all the stuff that I've collected and I just figured why not put it all together in one big haul. I don't know if that's boring for you guys but the haul is always the fun part for me so actually scavenging for this stuff is really fun too but you know you guys don't get to experience that really with me so i don't know what i'm saying anyway let's just go ahead and jump into this haul because i've had this stuff literally oh my gosh can i pick this up literally in boxes this actually was in the guest bedroom but this big bag that i have is has one of the belts on it um it's filled with books that i've thrifted and I also had a book inside the box that I thrifted. So we're going to be getting into a lot of books, which is perfect timing. Am I focused? <laughs> Hello. It's perfect timing because I just finished literally this morning. I woke up at seven in the morning and I was painting my fireplace till nine. It took me two hours. Well, not really two hours. It took me a few days because I had to go there, prep it, fill in some holes, wait for it to dry. So I came back another day to sand it down repatched it up just I just wanted to do some layers on it make sure it looks perfect and then it took me like two days of painting or three days actually because the first day I did a full coat and then yesterday um I stopped by I was going to grab lunch well dinner with a friend so I stopped by quickly I didn't have enough time to do like a full second coat so I just did it in like the really like opaque areas wait opaque do I use that word wrong? Is that when it's like, is that when it's like, like full, full coverage? Opaque. Where's my phone? I need to Google. Opaque definition. As an adjective, opaque. I did use that word right. Just the very opaque parts. I went in with a second coat and then this morning I went early in the morning and painted like a second coat like over the entire fireplace. So it's finally done and it's gonna go in that corner right there which you guys don't see. So yeah, you guys stay tuned for my bedroom makeover. It's a very long process. It's been in the works for months and it's still gonna be a few more months because I still can't find a bed that I want. My mattress is literally on box springs. I wanna replace my desk. It's a little too like mid-century modern for me. I want something like antique or vintage. My style just changed a lot. And also, I have this space back here that I can't really do much with because I have like a huge window in front of me. So I do all my filming here for like YouTube or IG Reels and stuff like that. It's just the best lighting. But it actually crossed my mind yesterday. How long have I been filming? It's been five minutes and I haven't started the haul. Well, I hope you guys don't mind chit-chatting with me. If you guys want to skip to the haul, feel free. But um, yesterday it crossed my mind that I can get like a reflector, like a reflective reflector thing it's like a silver reflector <laughs> but anyways I could like just set it up here whenever I want to film in that corner once my fireplace is done and the light will like bounce back that way so if I get that that'll give me a lot more options like filming options around here so okay anyway let's move on to the hall I brought up my mantle <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was that made me go so off topic but it wasn't that off topic because all the books that I bought I can finally decorate on my mantle that I finished. That was my point. Oh my gosh. So I'm assuming these are from Goodwill. They're in a Goodwill bag. This one might be Goodwill. This box that I had over here I think is all Goodwill. Actually no it's not but most of it is. It's been a while so I don't remember where all this stuff is from. I actually do know that I did buy it's probably in this bag. I forgot. I bought more books. That is so heavy. Oh my gosh. See, that's my problem. 
I had all these books like put away in a box or like this bag or whatever because I was waiting to do a haul to show you guys. And so I guess every time I went thrifting, I was like, I need books, not realizing how much I've collected. Okay, so these four books I got from Brown Wolf Thrift Store and I really wanted some like jewel tone books. So little tip, every time you look at books, if you're looking for like decorative books or like vintage decorative books, look at Goodwills, look at any thrift stores and just take the cover off and see what they look like without the cover. I do that with literally every book because you might miss a good one. But I found this one. Ooh, Alistar Cooks America. Wait, I have no idea what this book is about. Huh. You know what? Honestly, like some of these pages would be really cute to cut out and frame. I have no idea what this book is about. That might be a pretty picture to frame looks vintage and pretty <laughs> like I honestly didn't look at these books like the inside of them so I have no idea what these are about anyways I got this brown book I like when it's like a linen-y texture and I really liked this like creamy color so I got that one I was about to say why did I buy this it's just plain black but I bought it to use this side if you can tell the pages are very like raggedy <laughs> I don't know how I don't know if that's how you would call these pages, but anyways, I got that to use this side. Some books, you know, just look at it in a different perspective and they look really pretty with the pages showing. Then I got this book, The Arts, Education, and Aesthetic Knowing. I don't know. Look at the little pink splatters on it. It's cute. But I really liked this like dusty blue color. I asked on my stories for your guys' help because I couldn't decide between which books I wanted. Just like imagine you just gotta imagine i also got this one it's called the long walks and again like i mentioned oh with much love mother's day 85 i'm assuming 1985 <laughs> how cute i love when there's like little notes written inside but i got this green pretty like jewel tone green book and i thought it'd be pretty for decorating for the holidays um so how did i stack this before I laid it out like on the shelf like this and I like how that looks for the holidays. I think that'd be really pretty to decorate a shelf. So I got all these for, for $20. Kind of pricey for books when it's like just for decoration, you know, because um, Goodwills are like $2 for hardback books and these were $5 each. So those were cute. Those are my first four. Here's all the chapter books I got. Not very cute, huh? But wait till I take off the covers. Ta-da! Look how cute. I love, I'm growing my collection. And I also got these two. It was just too much for me to hold up at once. But I got this one. Let me take this sticker off. And this one's actually cute because it's called The Art of Cake. And it has like recipes. So I don't know if I'll ever use it as a recipe book, but I'll definitely use it for decor. Maybe I'll try some recipes out of here. That might be fun. Um, so yeah, I got that one. And then this one is also really interesting. It's called Classical Grease. But it's such a pretty book. And I love this like really aged green color. Like you can tell. Like see how green it is here. And then it kind of lightens over here. Like it's just sun damaged. But in a good way. Um, and this one's kind of... This one's actually interesting too. I was looking inside. It's just like a Greece history book. It's really hard to show you guys the inside, but I thought that was pretty. And especially, especially like these two together. And where's that other one? Like just doing a bunch of like neutral earthy colors like this would be really pretty. I wonder how this would look in here. Orange. Pretty. <laughs> Anyway, so there's those. Now we can get back into these smaller books. Um, I just got this like blue fabric-y one, which also would look cute with that first set of jewel toned colors I showed you, like the first stack. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, blue. I got this like burnt orangey one. It would be really pretty for fall. Oh, I just saw a chapter on marriage. What is this about? I don't know. Got that book. I got this one it has like a purple cover which could be pretty like this as well but I just liked this burnt color 
burnt orange, like burnt red color for fall. And then this one, it's just plain white. And this one's actually leather, but I, again, like the like rigid papers. Just trying to play around with colors. And then I also got some of these like fun, like brighter fun colors. I feel like this might be fun for spring maybe. I'm not sure. Like just to add in pop of colors here and there. So I grabbed those. Look how much books I got. Oh my goodness. And that's not all the books I have. That's just the recent purchases that have been sitting in my closet. Anyway, moving on. Okay. I also found just a simple, well, it's not that simple, but I found this vintage looking gold picture frame. I can add it to my gallery wall. It was 99 cents. So why not? Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys remember this. But when I went on my Washington journey, Washington road trip, um, I found three of these, I think they're like soup bowls, not really sure, that's what I use them for, I use them for French onion soup, but I found three of them in Washington, like near Seattle, and then a few hours away, like on my way back towards South Carolina, we made a few stops at other states, but on my way back, um, like a few hours away from where I purchased the first three, I found a fourth one at an antique mall. So I had a set of four and then these actually were from another like local thrift store called Carol's Hope, I think, but I've ended up finding, I don't remember how many, so I was wrong. This is three different thrift stores that I went to, not two. Oh, wow. Oh, I bought five of them. I thought I bought three. So now I have nine total. Now I'm on the hunt to find one more because I like to have even numbers in my kitchen. I don't know if that's a weird thing or if that's normal. Comment down below if you're the same way. Do you like to have like an even number in your kitchen? Like an even number of mugs? Unless it's like a collective mugs. I have a bunch of like random mugs that I like to collect. Like normally like handmade mugs and stuff like that. Like this, for example. I found this mug too and it was $3.99. And it has like this little brown rim. Also has like this little speckled detail on it. And it's like fun and interesting and different. So I have one of these. I have like a collection of random mugs. But like when it comes to soup bowls, I want an even number. Is that weird? When I say it out loud, it sounds weird. Anyway, I got five of these. And of course they all come with lids. And they were $3. So it comes with a lid. These are like the perfect soup bowl because it has like a lid to keep it warm, but it lets out a little bit of steam. So I don't know. I love these. I like eating soup out of these. It's really fun. Enough about my bowls. I also found these little trays. I don't really know what I'll use them for, but maybe for a holiday serving tray. The only thing that really crossed my mind is maybe to put like nuts in here or like like if you're doing a charcuterie board, you can put some nuts in here or like cranberries or whatever. I don't know. Whatever you would use for a charcuterie board, you can put grapes in here or something, um, some kind of fruit. What else would you use this for? Help me out. Comment down below what you would use these for. But they were $1.99 each. So I just got those. I thought they were cute. Found this at Goodwill. So this is kind of interesting. I was on a hunt to find lampshades like for my bathroom vanity to replace like the ugly yellowish lampshades they have. And, um, like one day, like I said, I stopped by Goodwill after work, like not really thinking that I would find them. And I literally found six. So I have like three lampshades in my bathroom. And also in this bedroom, I have like a chandelier with three lampshades and they're the same like lampshades as the ones in my bathroom. And they're just yellow and gross. So I wanted to get new ones, like vintagey kind of looking ones. And I literally found a set of six. There's two different sets like a set of three in one style and a set of three in another style, which I'll show you in a second. I literally found those and like, I just found so much. I just got lucky and I don't know how I found, like at the same thrift store, I found lampshades for my bathroom and for my bedroom. And I also found this, um, how much was it? It was probably like a dollar or something, but it's one of these Glade things. And um, I just figured why not? I should, I should probably get it. <laughs> it looks more like naturally and earthy, like almost ceramic, but it's not. Like maybe it's made out of stone. 
Um, and I also bought shelves to put up in my bathroom. I'm, I want I want to do like a whole makeover. I'll probably have a video out on that eventually, maybe hopefully whenever it'll actually get started. I've been collecting stuff over time, both for my bathroom makeover and my bedroom makeover. It's just taking a long time to actually execute the project, but I found this and plans of using it in my bathroom. And then also the lampshades. I'm rambling on a lot today, but anyways, the lampshades. Now that I'm pulling these out and looking at them again, because I've had them, like I said, in a box in the spare bedroom for a while. Um, now that I'm pulling them out and looking at them, I'm like really excited to switch them out right now. And I've had this for quite a while now, so I'm really hoping that these actually fit and they weren't just wasting space in my room and I was wasting time not looking for ones that do fit. I should have just checked, but I wanted to do it all on camera, like at once. Anyways, I found these two lampshades. I'm talking way too much. They were $1.99 each, and I got six of them. I'm not going to unpack all of them, but look how cute. Mm, I'm not sure which one I'll put where. This, like the size of the, whatever you call this, are the same. So they should be the same. If they fit in here, they should fit in my bathroom, because I think they're the same exact lampshades. Which one should I do in my bedroom, and which one should I do in my bathroom? It's really hard. I thought I liked this one more, but I kind of really like this one too. Whichever one I liked more, I think I want to use in my bathroom because in my bedroom I have really tall ceilings and you won't be able to see it as much. Actually, I gotta think about which one looks better from underneath because in my bedroom, since I have really tall ceilings, you really only see the bottom of it. But in the bathroom, it's like right above the mirror, so you'll be able to see like the sides of it. I'm trying to imagine. I have no idea. I'll figure that out another day. How long is this video? It's already at 30 minutes. I really hope I can cut it down. I'm almost done. <laughs> Anyways, I found this really cute teapot. How much? Oh gosh, I almost dropped it. I don't know how much it was. Probably a few dollars. I just thought this was a super cute teapot. And then I also got a rolling pin. And honestly, this will probably be my DIY pin. Like to roll out clay and stuff for like DIY projects, which... I've really been wanting to like play around with some clay so this will probably be my DIY rolling pin. I also found this and it literally still has the tag on it and it's just a like gold belt that I thought was really cute. I'm trying to speed along now since I wasted so much time chit chatting. So I also found two of these curtains. Why did I say it like that? Um, they're ugly curtains. Like look at that. Very ugly curtains, but I want to cut off this part. Oh my gosh, look, they're tangled together to the point where I can't even pull it apart. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Anyways, these are the curtains. And they, I'm assuming, originally had tassels going across, but this weird, like, flap I'm gonna cut off completely so it's just gonna be like these panels of this metallic -y fabric and I thought it would be really pretty for Thanksgiving to use this as like a table runner kind of like ruched 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 on the table you know what I mean and just have like a bunch of either like brass candle holders or maybe some glass candle holders and just I don't know I thought it might be a really pretty table runner for Thanksgiving and it was probably like a few bucks and I got two panels of those so I also found this and I, oh, I have no idea how much I paid for this. I'm telling you guys, this was a while ago, but I found this fabric. It's a pretty big, like a pretty large amount of fabric. <laughs> it's like upholstery fabric, but it also feels like it might be like an outdoor fabric. It's like really heavy duty. And I like this pretty sage green color. I might make some like outdoor cushions for my mom's gazebo with these. That would be really pretty. So I got that. I promise guys, I'm so close to being done. <laughs> oh wow, this is pretty. I forgot about this. I found this bowl at Brown Roof Thrift Store and it matches really well with this teapot. And this was $5 for this pretty elegant bowl. And then, this is really neat. I think I also got this at the Carol's Hope Thrift Store. But anyways, I found this really cute planter, which I wanted to plant my ivy in, but sadly my ivies always die. I have two ivies in the corner that are literally dead. I was trying to save them and I couldn't. Like all my other plants thrive for the most part. It's just the ivies that always die. Like what am I doing wrong with the ivies? 
Anyways, I thought this was cute and I really like how, since it's like a rounded planter, like it has this insert, like to make it easy to like plant. I don't know, I just thought that was cool. I don't know why. And I like the color and the little like ripples on it. So I got that, it was $4. And then I found this, which I really, really like. It was $1.99 and I found this like, I think it's like a cast iron pan and I just I almost shattered my bowl I literally fell on this bowl I need to put it far away how did that not shatter anyway I just like that it's small and I can like cook eggs or whatever just for myself in the mornings and not have to wash like a huge pan so I like it and it's white and cute and just looks vintage. Let's try not dropping it. I don't know. I thought it was cute so I got that. Now that I finally showed you guys, I can wash it and use it. It's been like a month probably that it's been sitting in the other room when I could have been using it. Oh, there's four of these. I thought there was only two. What? Anyways, I got these like very heavy metal. What are these called? Plate mats? Plate? I don't know. Plate decorators? I don't know what these are called. They need to be washed, but they're really pretty. And they have this like really pretty detailing on them. And I have four of them. I mean, I kind of wish I had eight. That way I could have used it for Thanksgiving. Like with... That would be pretty. You guys can see my camera. <laughs> but like this metallic -y table runner, going to be table runner with this plate. That would be pretty. Maybe I can find more one day. <laughs> so I also found this giant wicker bowl. It was only $6 and I thought this would be really pretty as like a dining table centerpiece and put some fruit in there or something. It clearly needs to be washed, but I thought this was really pretty. So I also picked this up. Found this Calvin Klein like luggage, duffel bag. That's what it's called. It was $4.49 and it literally was brand new. It held its shape a little better when I bought it, but I've had it stuffed with books. But I just found this Calvin Klein duffel bag. I just thought, you know, I travel sometimes with my husband or like road trip with him or whatever. I thought it was cute, so I got it. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this haul. I'm just in a really chit chatty mood today for some reason, that's normally not the case. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which item was your favorite. And that's all for this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, all that good stuff. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and boosts my channel. <laughs> um, that's all. I'm done. I'm out of here. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. What did I buy? Yes. More books. Okay, so these are the books I got from Brown Oak Thrift Store. I'm just thinking out loud. I guess we shall start with the books. I've said books way too many times in this video. Um, honestly, I'm trying my best to tell you guys where I got these from. Point is, everything I got here, I either got from Goodwill or Brown Oak Thrift Store. That's what I remember. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. I got it all sorted out, guys. So these four books I got from Brown Roof Thrift Store. And I know that because I remember spending $20. And I have the receipt here probably. 27. I'm already so annoyed with myself. We should have been like halfway into the video by now.